In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up screen recording and video recording with OBS Studio. I'm gonna try and share my screen here. It's gonna be a little bit difficult because I'm sharing a screen kind of within a screen um, because I also have to capture this recording. So let me go ahead and give it a shot and we'll uh, see if this works. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off uh, the preview here just so we're not seeing sort of an infinite repeating group. So I'm actually recording this in OBS at the moment. So OBS is a fantastic tool that I um, highly recommend. It's open source, meaning it's 100% free. It works with Windows, it works with Mac, it works with Linux. Uh, and so it can be a little bit technical to set up. So I'm, in this video, I'm just going to walk you through top to bottom how I have my sen mind set up, and hopefully this is helpful to you. So what you'll do is you'll head over to obsproject.com, you'll download the version that um, is right for you, uh, for your computer, and we'll jump back to OBS. So when you start, um, you're gonna have kind of a preview up here, which is probably just gonna be black when you first show up, because uh, it's not gonna have anything there. Um, now, you will have the ability to add um, scenes, and so scenes are just like a, a group of, uh, of um, settings. So I can go to cam. So now I'm full screen and it, uh, you know, you can just see me, you can hear me. If I go to screen here, uh, it actually will jump um, to, and show you my screen. And then I've set it up to just have me kind of over in the left hand side. And so um, you'll notice that there's a bunch of sources here um, um, that are connected here. So for the screen scene, um, all I have done is I've added a couple different uh, items here. We have a MV7, so that's my mic that you see right here. Um, the M50 is the camera I'm using to record. And then the display is the display that you're seeing. So you can see there's three elements. You're hearing my voice, you're seeing my face kind of in the bottom corner, and then uh, you're also seeing my screen as well. So there's kind of three elements and those are all here. And if I turn off um, my camera, for example, if I turn off the screen, you can see that should um, turn that on and off. So um, if I mute my mic, the audio goes away. Um, and so the way that you create these scenes is you go down here, you hit the plus button, and you will name the scene um, that you want. And then what you'll do is you'll add the elements that you want. So when I'm on my camera mode, um, which you can just see only me now, I, I don't have three elements, I just have two, right? I have my camera that you're seeing here, and I have my uh, mic that you're seeing, uh, that you're hearing as well. So just those two elements. Um, now I can't show you the uh, camera sources um, in this view because I'm actually recording it. So if I jump back to screen here, you'll notice, notice that I've got these three here, but for the cam scene, I just have the uh, mic and the, um, the M50 there. So the way that this, um, works is once you create your new scene, you can name it whatever you want. You'll come over here to the plus um, and we'll add our first source. So the first thing we wanna do is add, let's say a video capture device. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, um, and I'm gonna call this my, my webcam. So click okay. And I'm gonna choose my FaceTime HD camera here. So you'll see, this is not gonna be pretty. I don't know why that fan is just happens to be right over my head <laughs> um, and click OK. And now you'll see that this is now part of the scene. So if I turn my my good camera, my M50 off and kind of move this around, you can see that I can sort of place it anywhere I want to um, in the scene. And so uh, and I'm just doing this by reaching in and, and, and grabbing, like clicking on it. And you can even um, make it bigger, smaller. You can push it off the page. And so what I've done um, that is kind of interesting here is I've to get this effect, you see mine, how it's in kind of a circle here. I'm going to turn this one off because it's distracting. Um, I have my video here in a circle, so it's a nice, like, it just looks a little cooler. Um, and the way I'm doing that is with a, a simple mask. And so I've created a new input here. Um, if you go to my camera, I have it one input called M50. And then um, here I have a one called M50 dash mask. And what that's doing is it's kind of cutting out um, a circle around my face. So the way that you do that is you, um, you click over to this and I'm gonna right click on um, the source and hit filters. 
And now you'll see, this is the video here. And you'll see that there's a effect filter here and you can go to the plus and then you're gonna choose image mask and blend. And if I click on that, um, you're gonna choose, um, the type is gonna be alpha mask color channel. And then you're gonna go and I've got this image and I'll see if I can open it for you here. Um, let's see. Um, yes, it's called mask centered. So it's just a image with white in the middle and black around the sides. And so uh, what this does is it says, hey, keep everything that's white in here and anything that's black, I want you to crop that out. So I'm gonna actually upload this image to the description of this video. So you can just grab it and use it in your own OBS project. So we're gonna click open there, um, which I have it open, and you'll see that it's nicely cropped uh, my face around there. And so um, you will need to choose the color here as white. So um, you can select the color. Let's say I made it like blue. It's not gonna work because <laughs> it's, it's doing something wrong there. So I'm gonna hit select color and just choose white. That's the color we wanna keep. And you can just match the settings that I have here actually. So that will just crop it. And now what we've done is we've, got, we've actually got like a big um, circle and then I just scaled it down and kind of placed it where I want it, okay? So that is how you do the mask. It's kind of a cool effect uh, and um, hopefully you'll like it as well. Now the one thing I'll keep in mind is that when I'm switching from this scene and then I come back to this scene, you'll notice that there's no audio drop. So you will wanna make sure that your audio source um, is in there and, you, and you'll add your audio source by going to uh, the plus button here, hit add. You'll go to audio input capture, click on that and I'll say like new mic, click, click okay. okay. And, and then, then you have to choose a device, device that you're using. So, so um, I'm, I'm using the Shure MV7, uh, which I really like. That sounds really nice. nice. It's kind of the classic podcast sound, um, similar to the SM7, uh, uh, 7 v And so you click on that, you choose the input you want, and then it will be added um, to your sources here. And you'll notice, if I kind of make this a little bigger, there's, there's like a little mixer down here. here. And you can see, um, yeah, this, I'm, I'm using my laptop, laptop mic for this, so uh, it's, it's probably gonna sound really bad. So I'm gonna turn this off um, so it doesn't mess with what you're hearing. Uh, and you can actually turn that louder or softer um, depending on um, how you want it. So now you'll notice that on mine, um, I have it at 5.5 dB. So it's actually boosting the sound louder than it typically is. And you'll notice if I go to the very top, it only goes to zero. It doesn't go past that into 5.5. So again, the way you fix that, is you're gonna right click um, on the audio source here and say filters. And actually it's over here. You click on the little gear on the right there and you're gonna say um, advanced audio properties. And then you can actually just type um, the gain that you want. So this is gonna just boost it. It's um, zero, zero is just coming in at kind of exactly what it um, how it's left. But if you have a mic that's a little softer, um, like this one is, uh, I just want it to be a lot louder and a lot more punchy. I just make it a little bit louder there. And I also have a little bit of an, a sync offset, meaning that the, the camera feed that's coming from my M50 and coming all the way into OBS is actually taking longer to get to my computer than the mic source. So what I have to do there is I have a sync offset. So what that does is it actually puts a delay on my mic so that the video and the audio arrive at my computer at the same time. And so when I hit record, everything's in sync. Um, it'd probably be a little difficult to test this uh, in um, this setup that I have right now to turn it on and turn it off. Uh, but it's just one of those little things that I noticed and I was able to actually go in here and fix that um, using the setting. So pretty cool. And I think that is everything I'll show. You can definitely have other scenes. You can add images in here. So if you went to plus, you can add an image if you wanted your logo. Let's go ahead and add a logo just, just for the fun of um, the tutorial here. And we're gonna hit browse, go to brand. Let's do the posture logo um, here. So let's say we have brand marks and we have, let's grab the primary logo. I'm gonna grab it in white. Okay, so let's say we grab that and click okay. And then okay. So now I've got this graphic and I can kind of place it 
where I want to. So I'll put that down there, let's say. But you'll notice um, that if I go back to the camera, now it's gone. So if I hit plus here and hit image again, um, I can actually just choose add existing and choose logo and click OK. Now, it's not exactly in the same position. So if we want to get it exact, what you'll do is you'll come back over here. And I think you can actually copy um, the copy transform exactly where that's placed there. And I can right click on this and say transform, paste transform. And now fade, fade. I'm just going to turn this preview off so you don't get too confused here, but uh, fade there and fade there. Cool. So I hope that's helpful to kind of see what you can do um, with, uh, with OBS. Again, all of this is free. Very, very cool. So let me, um, I'm going to show you one more thing as far as the recording settings that I use for OBS. This is just one other thing you want to get set up. So you're going to head over into your preferences. I go to the top here and go to preferences. You can also go over to the right here and click settings. So um, on settings, we want to go to the um, output, first of all. And I'm not going to be able to change this because I am currently recording. But you want to go ahead and copy these settings. You can set 2,500 um, kilobits per second or even 5,000 um, if you want. That's just for streaming. Uh, depending on your internet connection, 2500 is pretty good for what, what we do. Um, and then for recording, you want to choose this option here. Now, I can't change it because I am currently recording, but you want to set indistinguishable quality large file size. So it will create larger files, but it's going to be um, much better quality. Recording format, you want to change that to MP4. Encoder, software x264. Those are all the right settings. And the last thing you want to do is go over to video and make sure that you have um, your canvas is set to 12, uh, 1920 by 1080 and your output resolution it needs to be the same. So 1920 by 1080. I'm not sure why that is actually set that way now, but I will fix that after this recording. Uh, so you want to make sure those are both set to 1920, 1080. On the audio side, um, just make sure that you have, um, if you want to have your audio uh, Monitoring, I wouldn't even worry about this um, actually, but just um, you're gonna have 48 kilohertz and stereo. I think those are the standard settings. So uh, that is everything you would need uh, for the settings. Um, I'll also say as well, you can live stream from OBS directly into Facebook Live. So if you wanted to have, if you wanted to go live on Facebook, um, for example, and have these kind of cool scenes set up. Um, you can actually do that right from in OBS. And um, it's kind of like using StreamYard or one of those, but again, it's totally free. StreamYard is great because it is, um, it is basically does all of this setup for you. But if you have a little extra time and want to follow along in this tutorial, then you can do all this for free without having to use StreamYard. Um, so go over to Stream, click on Facebook Live. So you'll click on Facebook Live, and then we'll say Get Stream Key. So if you click on this, It'll take you right over into um, Facebook producer. And here you can hit go live. And now I can choose to go live in a group and on my page. I can go live on my personal profile. Um, there's a number of different options here. And so you can see on the left here, it says post a timeline and we can say, or post in a group. So I'll go ahead and test post in a group. Let's pretend to post into the membership group. So what this will do is it actually go will go live in that group. Um, and then you'll see here that we've got um, uh, we've got uh, the options here for select video source. You want to choose streaming software. So instead of using your webcam, you're going to use streaming software. And then it's got a streaming key. So you're going to click copy. We're going to go back over to OBS. We're going to paste that key and click OK. And now I'm going to go back and hit start streaming. So I'm still recording, but now I'm going to start streaming as well. So I'm going to start streaming. It says connecting, connecting. And what we should see is the video actually popping into uh, Facebook. Now give it about a few seconds because it could um, take a minute just to actually show up. Um, and we'll give it a title. This will be my test live stream. And I believe this should show up in just a second. We'll give it a, a second. So it's still connecting. 
Um, and it may be that I am recording, and so that could be what's causing um, some issues. So, um, oh, here we go. No, we're streaming now. I definitely wanted to show this. There we go, connecting live video. And there we go. Now there's gonna be a delay from what you're seeing there. So um, um, first, like what I'm seeing, not in, my internet connection may be what's um, throwing this off. But uh, you'll see like I'm looking at my screen here. And then if I jump back to my camera, you'll see it'll take about a few seconds for it to actually go from looking at my screen here um, back to looking at the full video of myself. So I know this is kind of a video within a, inside of a video. So hopefully you're, you're tracking with what's happening. So this is streaming. It is just a little bit delayed. Um, but if I wanted to go live at this point, I would click, click this big go live button. And when I'm done, I could just hit end um, the stream. And that would take uh, basically everything that's happening in OBS with my screen share, jumping back, I could have my logo on or whatever. All of that cool stuff will be sent directly over into Facebook. So there's lots of other options. You can stream it to YouTube. You can stream it to all kinds of places right from inside OBS. So hopefully you've enjoyed this tour of how I have everything set up for uh, my OBS setup. And again, this is a great free tool. Um, you don't have to use it if you don't want to, but um, it is a great tool as far as uh, getting tremendous value um, out of something that is open source. If you have a little bit extra time, the good thing is once you're done and you've set it up once, you can just reload this anytime and just keep using it for all of your projects. So hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks.